fall. I think this word reflects a whole range of feelings that are born during this period. It's as if the sky itself is falling on your head, showering you with all the smells and colors. This period can be spent in melancholy, but I have a much better option. I can see the tender eyes of Blackie, who so desperately ask for the million time to pay attention to him. I can snuggle up to the warm, thick skin of the red hat and pat her behind the ear. I can bark with the wolf at the birds and squirrels that run so unceremoniously through the branches of trees. My friendship with the dogs I met in June grew into something more. We have been to this forest many times already, and yet every new time is special for me. Watching the behavior of dogs in a pack, and this is a real pack, is very exciting. And yet, I am a person with moral principles and cannot stand aside, even when I understand that the actions of the dogs are natural for animals. Always in the situation if Red Hat tries to show her dominance over other dogs. This is not right, but I cannot do otherwise and the most important thing is that she understands why I do this and forgives me for such things. I love the time spent in this company. I love this company. I love to explore the world created by nature in a natural way. I like to learn the character of an animal that does not bear the imprint of its owner's behavior. To survive, dogs adapt to the behavior of different people and create something unique. This is the engraved personality of the animal.
it seems to me that I am watching them all the time, but in fact they are also watching me. It still amazes me that these dogs walk with me just because they trust me, because they are having fun and because they feel the same free spirit in me. bare, crooked branches of the trees, like the fingers of a forest troll, froze on the eve of the winter, shedding their last leaves. For some reason, it is these trees that most remind me of my childhood, and for some reason, it is the smells of November that take me back to those distant years. I spent my entire childhood in the village with my grandmother. This was my place of power, where Mother Nature nurtured and raised me, revealing her secrets. In the place of my childhood, a river flowed much wider than this one, and the bridge was thrown across it, almost the same as here, but different. I loved spending time in a tree near the river, immersed in my thoughts and dreams. Autumn clouds floating across the sky sometimes open the gates to the golden rays of the sun onto the earth, and in these rare moments, Everything is illuminated with happiness.
It seems to me that I have remained that girl who dreamed of flying, inhaling the heady aroma of fallen leaves, and I think that I will remain her forever.